this is Keith from GoChemco.com. Today we're looking at the Hako FR410. This is their standard desoldering station now. Um, some people probably have used a 472D or one of the other models from the past and they've used maybe a pencil uh, handle like this or maybe they've used the pistol. I personally like the pistol uh, more than I like the pencil but they're both great. This unit is 140 watts. Pretty cool display. One of the things I like uh, that it has, it has a feature built into it which is called a clogging indicator. Basically as pressure builds up and less airflow is going in, it's going to indicate to you that you might have a clog somewhere. Time for a little maintenance. I'm going to show you that if you watch here. Oh, still heating up. Got to give it a little time. As it heats up, I'll talk about a couple other things. Um, it has a three preset programmable um, three different presets that you can program. Modify them as you'd like. You can lock out the user from changing from preset to preset or doing anything with it outside of just using it and desoldering. Right now it's set at 660. You can hear the pump, the internal pump going. Watch the indicator here. I'm going to squeeze that off. You can see how the indicator rises up, telling the operator that something might be clogged and needs a little maintenance. Some areas that might end up clogging, you can, the nozzle or the tip. We could have it in the, the heating element here. Or maybe just your filter is getting, getting full, and it's time to clean that out. Unit comes with a maintenance kit which gives you your, your um, clean outs, your drill. Hopefully you never have to use a drill. If you have to use a drill, you might want to increase the frequency of the other type of maintenance that you're doing. Nozzle changer, a little, little wrench there where you could change it out conveniently when it's hot or cold. And it comes with some extra filters. This is the filter that you see behind here. Some replacements there. And this is another filter that's used inside the unit. You'll notice that here, this is clear. I kind of like that because if you see some yellowing or discoloring here, you definitely need to change it. What you want to avoid is to get any of those contaminants up in the pump itself. This is kind of your last line of defense. If you see that operators are not changing that, one, or if that's discoloring and they haven't changed it, one, they need to change it, and two, you probably need to go kind of upstream and make sure that these are getting changed. You'll see in here the little ceramic filter in there. If that starts to discolor, you need to replace that. Your goal is to keep this one nice and clean so that we don't get any contaminants in that pump. The other nice little feature about this unit is that it has an auto off or an auto sleep. If the unit's not being used for a little bit, it will go in sleep mode first where it will drop the temperature down to, I forget what the presets are for that. And I think you could program that. But it'll drop it down, saving you tips, um, saving you energy. The other thing is auto off. A certain period of time you have set where if it hasn't been used for, let's say, 30 minutes, it will literally power it all the way down, which I think is pretty cool. Now, you can turn that on or off as far as a feature, but that's pretty nice. So, with this pencil desolder handpiece, which is the FR4102. Mainly what has changed on this, if you're familiar with, um, with, the, with, the, um, with the older one, is the heating element that I mentioned earlier. Basically, you could change it a lot easier than before, where before you had to go in and kind of desolder it from the circuit board inside here. Now, not often heating elements need to be changed, but um, that is one nice Nicety that they added to this. Um, they did not change the filter that much. Um, they still use the spring filter, which I, I like. Works well. So, but you would remove that and knock out the, the particular insert or just swap out the, the spring filter itself. It does have the ceramic filter in the back of that. Again, that's kind of your first line of defense to make sure contaminants don't end up in the pump. You definitely want to swap that out. 
And when you see the uh, clog indicator rise on here, that's probably where it's uh, where it's starting to clog. So that's about it. Thanks for watching. And go to gochemco.com to buy your brand new FR410 from American Hawker Products. Thanks.